इन्फॉर्मेशन देते हैं तो इस तरीके से हम अपने एग्रीकल्चर को आयोटी के थ्रू मॉनिटर कर सकते हैं फसल क्या कर फसल डू फसल कई चीजों में एडवाइजरी देता है कि जैसे प्रिसीजन इरिगेशन प्रिसीजन प्रिसीजन इरिगेशन क्यों इम्पोर्टेंट है क्योंकि कोई भी क्रॉप या प्लांट है उसको कम पानी भी देते हैं तो ड्रॉप कंडीशन होता है तब भी क्रॉप हेल्थ पे प्रॉब्लम्स आती हैं और ज्यादा पानी देते हैं तब भी ओवर इरिगेशन से भी क्रॉप हेल्थ पे प्रॉब्लम आती है उसी तरीके से हमको डिजीज और टेस्ट मैनेजमेंट की बात करने से आज के टाइम पे कोविड है सो एवरीबडी टेकिंग वैक्सीन तो हमारा जो सिस्टम इसी तरीके से काम करता है कि वी आर गिविंग एडवाइजरी इन एडवांस सो प्रिवेंशन प्रिवेंशन इज बेटर देन क्योर तो हमारा वो कांसेप्ट है माइक्रो क्लाइमेट फोरकास्ट करते हैं एक फार्म लेवल के ऊपर है जैसे कि अभी आप घर पे देखते हैं तो घर पे बारिश हो रही होती है खेत में नहीं होती है खेत में हो रही होती घर नहीं होते तो वी आर मॉनिटरिंग वेरी क्लोजली फार्म हमारा जो ये सिस्टम बना हुआ उसे आप घर पे बैठे देख सकते हैं कि आपके फार्म में बारिश हो रही है या नहीं हो रही क्या टेम्परेचर है क्या कंडीशन है वहाँ और इन सब को मॉनिटर करते हुए सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट चीज है फार्म फाइनेंस मैनेजमेंट कि हमको अपना फार्म का कैसे मैनेजमेंट करना है इन टर्म्स ऑफ फाइनेंस कि जो हमारा इनपुट है क्या उससे ज्यादा आउटपुट आया है कि नहीं तो इन सारी चीजों को भी आप कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं वेल्थ कम यूजिंग और फसल सिस्टम अब इसमें मैं बताऊंगा कि हमारा प्रिजिकल इरीगेशन कैसे करते हैं डिजीज बेस्ट का मैनेजमेंट कैसे करते हैं माइक्रो क्लाइमेट का फोरकास्ट कैसे करते हैं तो आपके सिस्टम देख रहे हैं ये फसल सिस्टम है आप इसको अपने ऑर्चर्ड में लगाएंगे एक्चुअली आर कवरिंग लार्ज नंबर ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर क्रॉप इंक्लूडिंग वेजिटेबल्स हुआ फ्रूट ट्रीज हो गया जैसे आपका ग्रेप हो गया ऑरेंज हो गया एप्पल हो गया तो आपको ये डिवाइस अपने खेत में लगाना है और ये खेत लेवल का इंफॉर्मेशन देता है जमीन के नीचे से लेकर के जमीन के ऊपर तक जिसमें हम बहुत सारे पैरामीटर्स मेजर करते हैं बहुत सारे सेंसर्स को लगा करके जैसे आप देखिए कैनोपी टेम्परेचर लेते हैं कैनोपी विटनेस लेते हैं एयर प्रेशर मेजर करते हैं रेनफॉल मेजर करते हैं सॉइल टेम्परेचर सॉइल विटनेस मॉइस्चर के लिए हम यूनिट्स लगाते हैं लीप विटनेस और पेन वेलोसिटी इसके अलावा हम एन भी मेजर करते हैं ये सारे सेंसर्स लगाए सारे सेंसर्स का यहाँ पे नाम लिखा हुआ है और ये सेंसर मॉइस्चर सेंसर इसको जमीन में लगाते हैं यहाँ पे विंड स्पीड में जब करता है रेन कॉल के लिए रेन गज है और इसको चार्ज करने के लिए इसमें सोलर पैनल लगा हुआ है और इसके अंदर हम सीम कार्ड लगाए हैं कि वो डेटा को कलेक्ट करके सीम कार्ड से हम क्लाउड पे भेजते हैं और क्लाउड से डेटा के मोबाइल पर आता है जैसे कि हमारा जो इरीगेशन है हम सबको पता है कि वी हैव टू इरीगेट इन डिफरेंट अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर है और डिफरेंट स्टेजेस की सीडलिंग है तब उसको पानी कम चाहिए या ज्यादा चाहिए अगले मिड सीजन में तो उसको ज्यादा पानी चाहिए लेट सीजन में तो उसको कम पानी चाहिए सो अपना जो सिस्टम है फसल का वी हैव कंसीडर सो मेनी पैरामीटर्स की क्रॉप की वैरायटी क्या है क्लोन क्या है उसके हिसाब से क्रॉप किस स्टेज में है किस टेक्सचर में लगा हुआ है उस गायों को ट्रांसपोरेशन क्या है उसका रूट लोन की लेवल पे मॉइस्चर क्या है तो इन सारे चीजों को ध्यान में रखते हुए फसल की रिलेशन एडवाइज ले देता है यहाँ पे आपको दिखेगा कि फसल का स्मार्ट इरिगेशन एडवाइजरी आपको कैसे मोबाइल पे दिखता है तो जैसे कि जब आपके प्लांट को पानी चाहिए किस स्टेज में प्लांट है प्रोटीन स्टेज में है मैचुरेशन स्टेज में फ्रूट का या बॉडी स्टेज में फ्लावरिंग स्टेज में तो हम हर लेवल पे अलग अलग जो पानी की रिक्वायरमेंट होती है उसके हिसाब से इन्फॉर्मेशन देता है तो ये इन्फॉर्मेशन आपके मोबाइल पर जाता है और ऐसे दिखता है कि जैसे यहाँ पे हमें कुछ थ्रेस होल्ड डिसाइड किया हुआ डिटरमाइन किया हुआ कि फ्लावरिंग के केस में इतना थ्रेस होल्ड होना चाहिए और प्रोटीन के केस में इतना आना चाहिए फ्रूट डेवलपमेंट में और हार्वेस्टिंग के टाइम पे इतना होना चाहिए फॉर एग्जाम्पल और हम दो लेवल पे पानी को मॉनिटर करते हैं जैसे कि नॉर्मल किसान जो है जाता है खेत में मिट्टी को देख करके पानी देता है बट हियर वी आर ट्राइंग टू मेंटेन द वाटर लेवल वर्ली ऑन रूट जोन क्योंकि जितना पानी प्लांट हो उससे ज्यादा प्लांट को पानी देने की जरूरत नहीं है नहीं तो पानी इसका वेस्टेज होता है दूसरा जो न्यूट्रिय वगैरह का लीचिंग होता है तो जैसे आपको इस ग्राफ में दिख रहा होगा कि यहाँ पे अगर सेवेंटी बार हमारा दिखाता है कितने लेवल में है तो इसका मतलब कि आपका जो पानी लीच कर रहा है वो प्लांट के उपयोग में नहीं है और आपका न्यूट्रिएंस परकुलेट हो रहा है उसी तरीके से हम लोग प्लांट प्रोटेक्शन की बात करते हैं मेंशन की प्रिवेंशन इज बेटर देन क्यों तो हम डिजीज हुआ या फिर जो अभी वेयर हियरिंग रिपोर्ट लॉट है ना लाइक माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म फंजाई बैक्टीरिया यूजिंग डिफरेंट अप्रोचेस मेनी अप्रोचेस लाइक अनमाइंड एरियल ड्रोन्स फॉर एग्जांपल मॉलिकुलर बायोलॉजी माइक्रो बायोलॉजी 
So we have several approaches, that was like a basic science approach, and then here we are talking about the applied science to develop some product and taking the practical approach, you know, see the reality, how the things are going on. Ground. So, what we do is that we have seen many sports organizations that have been in the sports world, that have been in the sports world, that have So, our system is that disease or test has soil or no, we have been told that fungal disease, bacteria disease, or a test. So, we have to do that. 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 We to we are forecasting based on life cycle of our biology of pathogens and also the biology of plant. That in which stage we have a chance of 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 a uh, for the many uh, crops in the mainly horticulture crops like the vegetable crops such as tomato, chili, grapes, and as well. So, here we have a relation that we have to say that pathogen is that the environment or host is an interaction and the environment or the conditions of the environment is that 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 the environment is यहां पे कुछ अंतर भी दिखाया गया है कि कैसे हमारा पूरा जो डेटा है कहां से कलेक्ट होता है किस बेस पे कलेक्ट होता है कैसे सर्वर को सेंड करता है सर्वर आपके पास मोबाइल पे कैसे भेजता है जैसे आपको यहां दिख रहा होगा कि बहुत सारे पैरामीटर्स हम मेजर करते हैं यहां पे एनडीआई मेजर करते हैं लाइक दिस सेटेलाइट से उसके बाद डेटा प्रोसेस और जैसे अभी एक एग्जांपल दिया गया है एयरपिट के बारे में आपको इंफॉर्मेशन दिया जा रहा है कि आपके यहां एयरपिट का अटैक होने वाला है हुआ नहीं होने वाला है सो वी आर टेकिंग द प्रिवेंशन मेजर इसी तरीके से डिजीज का है तो एक एग्जांपल यहां पे एंथ्रोपोनोस का लिखाया गया है कि एंथ्रोपोनोस का जैसे होस्ट टाइप कैथिकम हो गया चीटी हो गया या जिस पे भी एंथ्रोपोनोस अटैक करता है वो अपने होस्ट पे गया और किस टाइम पे किस स्टेज पे कैसे अटैक करता है और क्या क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन होता है तो वी आर टेकिंग क्या ऑल दोस पैरामीटर्स व्हिच आर अवेलेबल फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर डिजीज और पैथोजन एट अ पर्टिकुलर स्टेज फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर स्टेज ऑफ प्लांट सो बेस्ड ऑन ऑल दोस इंफॉर्मेशन हम मशीन लर्निंग और एआई का अप्रोच लगा करके उसको एडवांस में फोरकास्ट कर देते हैं ताकि हम लोगों से इंफॉर्मेशन चला जाए और उस पे इंफॉर्मेशन हमारा रहता है कि लो रिस्क है मीडियम रिस्क है और हाई रिस्क है ओके and based on those risks, we are giving advisory about the same time. We are giving advisory about the same time. We We are giving advisory about the same We are Traditional spraying is the economist or consultant or recommended or formal traditional practices. But in our cases, we are just targeting the pain point that you have to spray. So, in this case, you have to spray the river, then you have to information. Then you have to spray. And in this case, you have to spray the river, then 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 you have to spray the river, but the condition is spraying the river, then you have to तो उस हिसाब से भी आपको ध्यान में रखते हम इंफॉर्मेशन देते हैं ताकि आप ज्यादा से ज्यादा स्प्रे को बचा सके और कम से कम स्प्रे करें ताकि फ्रूट की क्वालिटी और जो हैजार्डस चीजें हैं उसको हम प्रिवेंट कर सकें तो उस केस में हमने देखा है कि हमने बहुत अच्छे लेवल पे लगभग 60% लेवल पे हमने नंबर ऑफ स्प्रेस को रिड्यूस किया फ्रूट के क्वालिटी में भी एनहांसमेंट किया है फ्रूट फ्रूट का रेट भी एनहांस हुआ है सामने तक है 18 से 15 से 20% के आसपास I mentioned that we have a lot of models that we have to do with the same thing, like the same thing, the same the same thing, the same thing, the the same thing, 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 
can write me email on this abhishek at the party at the one two dot com. Then I can forward you the email. Okay. So, you can get information from us that how much money is going to come. No doubt. But it's not that the the cost is what. If you have input clear, then you have to output the cost and the cost. What is the return? That's good. Okay, that's a good initiative. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. थैंक यू डॉक्टर अभिषेक मनी त्रिपाठी अगर किसी के और क्वेश्चंस हैं ऑडियंस जो ऑनलाइन जुड़े हैं तो प्लीज आस्क आई थिंक देयर आर नो क्वेश्चंस डॉक्टर त्रिपाठी थैंक यू फॉर सच अ नाइस प्रेजेंटेशन थैंक यू ऑल मोमेंट लो मोमेंट लो मोमेंट नाउ आई रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर गौतम to please present a memento to dr abhishek mani tripathi thank you thank you very much thanks a lot thank you sir moving ahead i request dr nitin from upl limited for his presentation For the seventies employee who will be working on this project, uh, his resource and time will not be. Doctor Maya, Mr. Maya, can you just from there talk? Thanks, sir. Kindly unmute yourself. Uh, kindly mute yourself. Thank you. Uh, I request Doctor Nitin from UPL Limited that please present your work. Doctor Nitin. Yes, uh, actually, this is Rup Nagar. I am from UPL, and uh, I will present. Yeah. Okay. 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 Please start. Just a little. Can anybody confirm if my screen is visible? No, it is not visible as yet. Now it started. Let Let's see. It has started. Uh, just move your one two slides so that we can see that whether it's moving or not. Now you know if it is uh, uh, available to you. It's visible. Know. It's visible. Can you move one two slides so that we can see it's working properly or not? Yeah. It will work, I trust. Yeah, yeah, it's working. Please start. Thank you, uh, first of all. Uh, thanks, uh, Emirin Fibrobiological Society, to invite me. I was listening to all the expert in uh, these sessions from yesterday, and uh, I, I, in, I could enrich my knowledge by the work you put there, uh, put together these years of your research career. I'm, I'm thankful to all the speakers who spoken before me. Uh, if I uh, see uh, with this last two years of uh, session, I could understand that each one of us who are concerned, who are connected with the agriculture or the society. we are only looking for the sustainable solution which can last longer and ultimately all of us want to reduce the uh, cost of production for the farmer thus increase their uh, their uh, income so my name is rupnagar i am with the upl here i will give a glimpse of uh, some of the important things about upl so you have uh, padma bhushan shri radhikant devidas prof we call him uh, jubai shraf is the chairman of the company uh, we are the fifth largest company in the world having uh, 130 countries our footprints are there uh, we have 48 uh, manufacturing sites and we are the family of 10500 plus persons working together uh, we have done an acquisition almost 25 in number to broaden our reach and broaden our portfolio Uh, we have uh, 241 parent patents and we have 13000 plus registrations so as a priority or our motto uh, we call it farmers first because farmer is very important for us whatever we develop or do that is for the farmer and this is our continuous uh, effort to make easy or affordable solution to the farmers we are there in seed soil health nutrient and uh, biostimulants crop protection uh, various solutions and post harvest and we have some initiative for the farmer like other farm services which help the farmer to go for 
you will go for having bigger machines, so thus reduce their cost. Mm -hmm. We have the sandbox center, which uh, give them a good suggestion or technical advice on our phone, and we have Unimart for supporting them in terms of uh, technical information and uh, the best product. I'll talk about the Fujisite Google overview here. So this is 18 billion US dollar, and major consumer in terms of crop is fruit and vegetable, followed by cereal 21%, soybeans 16%, food for and corn, uh, rice 9%, cotton 1%, red seed 3, potato 6, red wine 7%. And if I talk about reason why, so Asia consumes 31%, Brazil 19, Europe 26, India 4%, Latin 7, and now uh, 9% of it. Uh, if we see the major molecules of fungicide, so subsystamine is the biggest one, then Pathyaponazole 240, and then Mancogel, Pyroprostomine, uh, there is a big list out there. And put together, the uh, market is 18 uh, billion US dollar. Talking about UK key products, so we have uh, Mancozer, Brothel Gonzal, Boscalid, Gapton, Copper, Sulfur, Chlorothalonil, Azoxystromin, Tamiconazole, Propomacar, Proxystromin, and Prosgo. These are the major AIs. So, and if I talk about the brands, we have Menzel, Wondozel. Mitofial, Unizet Gold, Glory, Saab, which is famous among Indian farmers, Alexer, Resumen, Premium, BB20, EBCS, 40, Avito, and Trifocus. So these are the major uh, brands we have out there. This slide is giving you a perspective about India, uh, the major, the bigger molecules, as well as the major major diseases. So Trifoxis to one, Dabiconazole is the bigger one. Followed by azoxystromin and uh, dipenconazole, uh, carbonazim, uh, mancogives are from UPL, mancozib, copper, propiconazole, tisaclozole, and all these top 10 products you have there. The biggest uh, disease is uh, uh, sweet blight, which consumes 11% of the uh, fungicide, followed by downy mildew, leaf spot, blight, blast, anthracnose, powdery mildew, dirty grain, scab, and rust. And other diseases consume 28% 20, of the as uh, we ever decide. In future, the uh, bigger growth drivers will be uh, fruit and vegetables. And in coming slide, you will understand why it will. So this is downy mildew, powdery mildew, uh, in veggies, blast, uh, blight, and leaf spot, and in rice, of course, sheep blight and blast, and some other important diseases. So this is the trend uh, which we see uh, in, in current society. So this suggests that uh, in uh, 2030, 40 percent of the population will migrate to urban areas, uh, and this is the trend we are seeing by last couple of years. And the, the urban population will be 59 crore in the future. So uh, the demand for uh, vegetable and fruits will be increasing. Because in current scenario, also everybody is getting more consciousness uh, to take care of their health, and the fruit and vegetable was important, is important part of it. And thus, this will, this will again put pressure for us to give more sustainable solution for fruit and vegetable grower and other crop growers. In the right side graph, you see per capita income will also increase, and will, this will also enable the consumer to invest more money on health and, of course, fruit and vegetables. Here are some market market dynamics. Uh, we have uh, issues like uh, resistance issue and the moral issue. I mean, the good uh, fungicide like STI, chemistry, and strokes uh, are resistant, getting resistance on diseases. And uh, there are challenges uh, to manage MRI. And we are we are having very limited options for multi site fungicide. Operationally, there is a scarcity of labor. We don't have that much skilled labor, and small holdings again restrict us to go for mechanization. And the season again play a bigger role because uh, in fruit and vegetable, if you have more than less than or, or other weather parameter, this affect uh, the production drastically. From the other hand side, uh, there is a need to broaden the scope of ENAN, which is an online uh, market platform for the farmer. We need to develop. Uh, Better warehouse facility, logistic, digital app, 
and important export. From Pedro's perspective, there's a demand for quality produce, uh, storage facility, treat of import, and of course, uh, price fluctuation is the biggest one. If we talk about uh, future trends, so in future, we will be having more skilled growers in terms of horticulture because from all the platforms, uh, they are gaining knowledge. Uh, service and solution will be strongly demanded. That's how we are working together. And there, was a, there will be a risk of having too much information because nowadays there are too many platforms to uh, acquire the knowledge. Uh, there will be a uh, trend of uh, a digital market because uh, nowadays also you can see a lot of uh, digital market are there for buying and selling uh, uh, these produce. And uh, the good thing is government will be positive because demand is increasing. So government will be positive for what they produce. So this is for all of us, uh, the scientific community, the, the, the industry, and the farmers to work together to find the sustainable solution for agriculture for future. Um, this chart talks about volatility and the growth in future. So fruit and vegetable, as I have shown earlier, uh, bound to increase, so as the volatility also year on year. So fruit and vegetable will be volatile to commodity price, um, a great swing because we have seen sometimes onion price price such as 100 and sometimes 5 rupees thing. So, so this is the volatility it has. Uh, then rainfall, it is it is uh, medium, but again rainfall also rainfall also affects it. Uh, uh, there is a volatility for pests and diseases, and of course resistance because uh, we use uh, uh, agrochemicals repeatedly. So there are more chances in food and vegetables to develop resistance against any particular disease and pest. These are some, some pesticides uh, which are uh, at uh, high risk, moderate risk, or safe category. Or resistance uh, development. So all the green ones are safer so far. I will call uh, these uh, uh, protoconazole, uh, rixafen, we have loxistrobin, benzobindi, flupire, we have uh, methan, metrophenone. These are the safe and you have the yellow ones like fluoxistrobin and trifluoxistrobin. All these uh, stimulants are at medium risk and all the red ones you see are at high risk for uh, uh, resistance. If we see the overall development of this segment, to this side, so 1885 to 1965, there was an era of uh, contact fungicide, and then came the second generation fungicide where we have systematic and multi-site, site-specific fungicide. It happened uh, during 1966 to 1976. Uh, and then the third generation when you, where you had uh, systematic uh, specific uh, fungicide, broad spectrum. Uh, basically, we, we can, um, uh, you know, remember metal acid in 1977, uh, phenyl amide, bisols, and phenyl carbamides. And then come, finally comes the uh, recent generation of fungicide. Uh, the specific fungicide with the uh, uh, complex 3, complex 4, NBH inhibitor, you have uncoupled of oxidative phosphorylation, uh, signal uh, transcription inhibitor, cell division inhibitor, SBI, and nucleic acid inhibitor. So these are the new code of actions we are witnessing now. Uh, recently, a few uh, products are launched in the market, which are methanity, fluconazole, libiflu, metofen, isoflu, cypran, empire, flu, fluoxam, iflu, phenequin, pyrocopion, FNP, Coxomid, and Oxithiopromid. So, I'm again emphasizing that everybody in the industry as well as the researcher community are looking for the safer chemistry now. The focus is on safer chemistry, and this is how uh, biofungicide comes in picture. So, I will, I will uh, not miss to mention this uh, wonderful product from uh, uh, UPL, which is uh, in line to launch in future. This is completely a biopollution uh, from UPL called the uh, laminaria. This is an abstract of seaweed called uh, laminaria digitata. Uh, this is a, a cell formulation, and already farmers are using across 16 different countries. Uh, this addresses uh, oral video, uh, dummy video, bacterial disease, and uh, in fruit and vegetables. Really. So, 
uh, and in the left hand side down you can see FTC, it can lose bacteria as well as fungi. Uh, this is a different kind of fungicide, that's how it breaks the resistant development against any major disease. And again, the new growth of the plant is also safe for any fungal attack when lemon is used. I'll talk about the mode of action of this uh, product. So, a preventive biofungicide, we have to apply it before the disease occurs in the plant. Uh, this has unique mode of action, comes under the category or the group of FRAC E4, minimal risk of resistance. Exams, MRL uh, tolerance and export, no residue in, in the open union. So this can be widely used in the in post product which are uh, being sold outside country as, as export. A lanarin is a molecule with a similar structure to degradation product of pathogenic fungi or oligoglucan, which are the elicitor of uh, defense activi activation during and fungus attack. Looks uh, um, a term technical. Uh, in simple word, I would say whatever we are doing for COVID now, it will work the same way, more or less. The slamarin is able to trigger the natural defense mechanism to put the plant in a defensive state before the real attack occurs. Uh, this reason lasts for seven, between seven to ten days, depending on the disease pressure. And further, we are developing this uh, product with the multi-site uh, uh, action products like sulfur and, and poker. So, in summary, I would say uh, we have to cooperate to develop competitive advantage in sustainable and differenti differentiated solution for the farmers. Uh, this we can uh, achieve sustainability uh, in agriculture. And these are some uh, challenges for the farmer in the soil. Uh, they need a system, sustainable solution in mentality. Uh, this was the end of my presentation. I would, I would be very thankful to the, the Vice Chancellor of the University, uh, the members of uh, Myelin, Myelin uh, Phytopathological Society, uh, the prominent speakers who have spoken from different locations across the country, uh, giving their expertise, and the fellow industry colleagues and respected farmers who have joined through this uh, platform with me. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nagar. It was indeed a very insightful presentation. Again, if you have any questions, then please put something. I think there are no questions, so we'll move forward. But before that, I request Professor and Head, Dr. Gautam, to please present the memento to Mr. Nagar from UPL Limited. I'm humbled, so thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome, Mr. Nagar. So moving ahead, I request Dr. Katoj from Biocrop Sciences that he can present his work. Yeah, thank, thank you, madam. Thank you. Uh, I think Mr. Nagar is still presenting. Can you please? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Dr. Nagar, uh, kindly take off your presentation as uh, Mr. Dhrupad Kutoj is presented from Biocrop Sciences. Mr. Nagar. I think earlier my colleague will start presenting and you are able to present. Mr. Katoj, uh, kindly see that if you can present. Okay, thank you. So, can you see the screen? Not yet. Mr. Roop Nagar, I think you'll have to uh, stop presenting. Yeah. Thank I did. You. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. 
So are you able to see the yeah, it's, presentation? It's coming, wow. yeah, it's innovation for sustainable farming. Wow. Yeah, yeah, thank Can, you, thank you. Kindly start. Yeah, so uh, good afternoon to uh, one and all. Uh, myself, uh, Jubat Dutoch from uh, Bayer Crop Science Limited. And before I start my presentation, let me just express uh, my gratitude to the Himalayan Phytopathological Society and uh, to especially Dr. Echa Gautam also for providing Bayer this opportunity to share uh, its vision and technology with all of you, eminent personalities uh, present here. So it is a matter of great pride for us that Bayer is a part of this two-day uh, mega event. And uh, it's a special honor for me because being an alumnus of uh, Vice Perma UHF, so uh, it's a special honor for me for presenting uh, on the big forum when the event is being uh, held uh, at this campus. So thank you so much. So the main crux and the main topic of my presentation today will be innovation for sustainable farming, where uh, we are going to see how innovation uh, and sustainability go hand in hand and how sustainability itself uh, is becoming a driver for uh, creating innovation in the agriculture systems, especially in India. So, uh, a little review of what the global trends in agriculture looks like. So, uh, if we see the population growth by 2050, we are expecting the population to grow to 9.6 billion people on this earth, from the current 7 billion people. And uh, there is also the changing consumption patterns where uh, there is an increased demand for proteins. And uh, an unfortunate uh, fact is that uh, hunger wise, one in eight, or even as Dr. Pavlo was saying, one in nine a person in the world goes uh, hungry today, So, which is really unfortunate. Uh, in terms of uh, storability, uh, uh, we have observed, or it has been observed, that up to 40% of fruits and vegetables are lost in India to either post harvest diseases or in transportation or in storage, which is, uh, this amount is equivalent to the annual consumption of fruits and vegetables in the UK. So, uh, you can only imagine how big the quantity that is. In terms of uh, uh, farmland per capita area, uh, in 2010, the average was 0 0.2 hectares per capita, and by 2050, it looks like it will go down to 0 0.13. So, the pressure on the land to produce more is increasing day by day. And then weather fluctuations are yet another factor that is, you know, now playing a very crucial role. Climate change is a very hot topic to be talked about and we are really facing some new challenges. So it has been estimated that a one degree rise in temperature will lead to approximately 322 kg loss of rice per hectare. And uh, we can see that the yields are under pressure. So, uh, looking at all these factors, the global food production by 2050 has to be increased by at least 60% to sustain, sustain the global population and to maintain the productivity. So, keeping these factors in mind, Bayer is uh, continuously striving to do science for a better life. So, as you know, Bayer is a life science company and is the current global leader in healthcare and nutrition. So, our innovative products supports the efforts to overcome the major challenges presented by a growing and aging global population. And we also help in preventing, alleviating and treating diseases. And Bayer also aims to ensure that the world has a reliable supply of high quality food, feed and plant-based raw materials. And of course, all this uh, is taken into consideration with the responsible use of natural resources which is always a top priority for buyer for long-term sustainability of all the solutions that buyer provides uh, to its customers, be it seed or be it crop protection molecules or anything from seed to harvest. So the basic motto and the uh, basic, uh, yes, the flag bearing here is health for all, hunger for none, that buyer follows, which is putting an end to the hunger and helping everyone lead a healthy life, while at the same time we protect our ecosystems, so that's what Bayer aspires to achieve, guided by its corporate purpose, science for a better life. So this was the background as to how uh, the global agriculture scenario looks like and how Bayer is trying to uh, mitigate it. And uh, to go into a little bit deeper how our crop science strategy looks uh, for the future, for sustainability and for innovation. So Bayer aims to shape the agriculture 
uh, in the future to benefit the farmers, to consumers, and on the planet. So, as an industry leader, uh, there are three basic missions that uh, I is looking for. First is deliver world class innovation uh, of agriculture solutions uh, from seed to harvest, and be an example setter and uh, set the tone for delivering the world class innovations uh, uh, to our agriculture systems. And uh, before moving to digital, I will uh, go to sustainability, which is another of our missions. And uh, sustainability is the key driver for innovation for buyer. Anything that is will be uh, presented to the global agriculture uh, systems will definitely have to be sustainable so that uh, the impact on the ecosystems is minimized and uh, the applications and the use is precise, is precise and uh, there is a minimal environmental impact. So innovation with sustainability is the focus. And then also uh, the mission is to pioneer the digital transformation. Uh, we have seen, uh, especially in Indian agriculture systems, that uh, in the last 15 to 20 years, digital transformation is taking place in agriculture also, but the base is slow. But now, since the last one, one and a half year, uh, due to the unfortunate uh, pandemic of COVID-19, we have seen a very strong shift towards digitalization be it uh, in our professional lives, be it in our personal lives, or be it in our day-to-day -day working. Similarly, uh, agriculture is also going to be influenced by digital transformation, and Bayer is working towards that to pioneer uh, this digital transformation. Also, uh, tailored solutions uh, for uh, providing to our customers is the key to sustainably managing the resources and improving the productivity uh, in the coming future. So this is just a reminder, and this is just uh, just to you know just remind ourselves that uh, Bayer sets very high standards of innovation, and Bayer has been around for more than 150 years as a crop protection organization, and also has experience of more than 100 years as a seed growth uh, organization with providing seed treatment solutions to our farmers globally as well as in India. So this innovation which Bayer is focusing on as a, it's a sustainable uh, innovation in for the future, I would like to really uh, request you to just uh, put uh, some focus on this slide. This is a very interesting slide where we can see that how innovation uh, is brought out by planning security and also significant investments. Investments in terms of time as well as uh, in terms of uh, finance. So this is a broad overview of how a product is brought into the market uh, right from its research to commercialization. There are basically three steps, uh, the research, development and commercialization of the product. So during the first two to three years, uh, the molecule is researched for its chemistry, its biology, its biochemistry and also some other disciplines. So this generally takes around two to three years. Once uh, there is a green light from uh, the research phase and it moves into the development phase, then there are field trials, there are user and consumer safety trials, there are environmental safety trials, there is formulation and process development. So the field trials, formulation and process development uh, uh, is uh, generally taken uh, care by in-house as well as uh, uh, outside, but the user, consumer safety, and environmental safety is a, is a part of this development program, which is done in collaboration with the government agencies, government the SEUs, the regulatory authorities, where uh, the government agencies play a very important role in uh, validating uh, the molecule for development. And uh, it has ne actually never happened in the past, but uh, uh, if any molecule is observed to not uh, fitting these parameters, then the buyer, as its uh, sustainability promise, uh, terminates the molecule there and then, even after a six to seven year investment of time and finance, but keeping in view the sustainability, the innovation is terminated as per the regulatory norms. But if, when the product goes into the regulatory approval, that will be the third phase. So the regulatory approval in globally takes around uh, two to two and a half years. In India, it takes around four and a half to five years. So after the regulatory approval, the data generation from SEUs and then uh, RC approval from uh, CIB and RC, the product is finally launched. So this overall gives us an uh, idea that after 10 years uh, of uh, study and an average
annual investment of around 200 million pounds, euros, I'm sorry, only one compound or one AI out of a potential one lakh substances which is the market. So this it, itself itself is really clear as to how much investment uh, buyer is doing into bringing uh, world class innovations uh, to our farms. And this is again a very interesting slide for us to see where uh, we can see the the AI for the products that buyer has been able to uh, deliver. Uh, these innovations by has been able to deliver to the global Indian market from herbicides and factor regulators uh, starting in 1960 to insecticides starting in 1892 and to various fungicides starting in 1914. So if this is a very big list and if some of the prominent molecules in fungicides that I talk about, then we have propinib, uh, we have propamugar, we have barbandazine, fossil aluminium, uh, tetoconazole and flu biram. To uh, you know, uh, mention a few. So all these products have been frequently uh, launched by Bayer into the agriculture systems uh, in India as well as globally. And uh, this is not possible without the support of the government agencies, the SAUs, uh, the central government regulators, who find these products suitable. These products uh, uh, to, uh, to the farmers. So uh, on behalf of Bayer, a real thank you to all of you for uh, always supporting these uh, innovations. And this is again uh, the continuity of the same uh, slide and here we can see that Bayer has contributed more than 180 AIs uh, till date which includes 57 insecticides, 61 in fungicides, 53 in herbicides. And if we talk about India, so since 2000, uh, almost 10 new modes of action, 30 new products, 3 new types of formulations and uh, Approximately 10 low dose solutions have been, uh, <laughs> these innovations have been brought into the market, uh, into the Indian market uh, um, from buyer. So, uh, this uh, is the buyer's fungicide portfolio as on date. Well, Here you can see we have around nine brands uh, which are currently available in the market for the disease management and the management of various pathogens uh, in various crops uh, that are available or that are present in the Indian agriculture systems. So, uh, fossil aluminium, Elliot, Tropinel, Multicide, Androgol, uh, Tebogonazole as Follicure, then Infinito, again an Omicid. Uh, Luna Experience is our latest innovation that has been uh, made available to our farmers. And I'll talk more about it in the next slides. And then Melody Duo, again, when you know, I see Nativo is a, a very wide spectrum uh, fungicide uh, mixture of tebogonazole and rifloxystrobin. Then Profiler again, and the OMIC management product. And then Sectin again. So as you can see, the portfolio is very wide, very uh, strong, and uh, it is mainly focused for managing all the major diseases and diseases that are available in the Indian agricultural system. So in continuity, uh, this, I would like to just uh, emphasize some more on our latest innovation that has been uh, introduced. It is known as Luna Experience. Technically, it is a mixture of fluoroparam and tebogonazole. It's an ST formulation. So the disease spectrum, uh, it's a popular specialist and uh, also very good efficacy against brown rods, gray mold, white mold, cigatoga, early blight, and also good efficacy on scab. So this uh, product is generally a uh, mixture of full anti-ingredients flu biome, uh, which is a SDHI uh, fungicide and it acts on the respiration chain in the mitochondria. The second partner is tebogonazole, which is a DMI fungicide and it uh, inhibits the formation of cell wall. So on the right hand side, top right hand we see, I will uh, just share some more technical information about uh, uh, flu biome. Technically it's flu biome and brand name is Luna. So, although being at SDHI, uh, with where uh, many other AIs are present in the market, it is bit completely different from them because it works on complex two of the respiration chain, uh, which is different from the other strobilins, which is which work on complex three. So, excellent tool for uh, resistance management, and also uh, it inhibits the germination, uh, it inhibits the incubation as well as correlation. So it acts to prevent the initial contamination and also the further disease extension. So a very good, a very good and more novel chemistry for uh, for our uh, for our farming community. 
Uh, I would also like to share with you uh, one recent innovation. Uh, it's uh, known as a Serenade ASO. Uh, technically, it's the Bacillus Subtilis. It's a state-of-the-art technology in formulation, uh, and uh, the uniqueness is that it's a foliate fungicide for reduction of uh, damage caused by various fungal diseases in a wide range of crops. So it's basically a suspension concentrate containing uh, 1.45 into 10 to the power of 12 CFU per liter. So how is it different from other bacillus formulations? Uh, the content, uh, the, yes, the AI is very high. Generally, we get 10 to the rate power 7 or 8. This product has 10 to the power 12 CFU per liter. Uh, and the quality of the product is very high. It's a big brand outside of India. And uh, currently, buyer is also uh, buyer is also interested to introduce it into India for our farmers here for disease management. However, there are certain regulatory uh, challenges, uh, which uh, the there are certain regulatory guidelines that need to be followed. There are certain challenges which are being faced, and uh, this product is currently not being made available to our uh, farmers in India. However, uh, all my other participants listening here. Uh, it's a request that if uh, you find the suitability, then definitely this is a very good solution for our farmers in India also. So this was about our products and our uh, strategy. Now, uh, I would also like to highlight how Bayer is collaborating with our esteemed government agencies for the betterment of the farmers. So uh, these are some of the examples of, of our collaboration with ICR and different SAUs like uh, uh, grape, NRCG grapes, NRCB pomegranate, and then CICR cotton. So these institutes we work for bioefficacy studies, baseline studies, knowledge sharings, trainings, technical supports, uh, etc. And the latest collaboration which we are doing is uh, the buyer drone application project, which uh, recently was signed, an MOU was signed with the CPRI and the Merit campus. And where uh, the buyer is, uh, you know, collaborating with the SEUs to uh, see the feasibility of uh, uh, drone application of its uh, products in, especially CTR is dedicated to potato, so in potato. And uh, this uh, drone application project is also, uh, some studies have also been done with some SEUs where uh, uh, efficacy studies with drone application technology uh, are being, uh, you know, studied and evaluated as to how this uh, looks into the future market of spray application or the future, uh, yeah, future market of spray application. So these are some of the collaborations which are currently going on. Uh, another aspect is uh, another uh, slide here uh, for, as I told you, uh, collaboration with CPRA Shimla uh, for this drone application of uh, products with good volume efficacy. This. AICRP on nematodes is also another major collaboration which was done uh, with our government agencies, uh, especially the AICRP team. And uh, here we, uh, I would like to mention that uh, uh, nematode management in India was a, uh, a good solution for nematode management in India was a very, very big gap where there was no suitable solution. However, Bayer uh, had a very good innovation uh, for nematode management known as Wellum Prime. So uh, this product was last year launched um, about the RC for uh, root or nematode management in vegetables and was launched. So just to highlight here that this product was launched, uh, uh, the regulatory approval came in just one and a half years you know, as compared to three to five, four years which come. So the government agencies really identified the need gap and on a footing basis this product was launched in the market. Uh, so as to provide, provide an immediate relief to our farmers. So really, uh, this shows how the collaboration can really, you know, provide uh, excellent solutions to farmers uh, when there is a really an emergency. So thank you. We would like to buy. I would like to thank the, our government agencies, ICR, uh, the regulatory CIB, as well as the SEUs for uh, supporting this uh, this project. Another collaboration is uh, also for fall, fall army worm management has become a major issue uh, now in India also. So we have collaboration with IAMR again for its management. Then uh, a new disease was identified in Eastern India in uh, wheat uh, and the collaboration has been done with IAWER Karnal for its uh, management also. So these are just some glimpses of how, how continuously we are collaborating with our government agencies for the betterment of the farming community. 
So moving on. Yeah, are you able to see the slide? Yeah, yeah. Yes, we can see. Hello? Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So after uh, uh, the next uh, section that I would like to cover here is uh, how Bayer is innovating in formulation technology for addressing the customer needs in a very efficient uh, manner. So we know that uh, the world is now moving towards uh, digital uh, agriculture. Now the agriculture is very different shift towards uh, agriculture. And as Dr. Achar Gautam yesterday in his opening remarks said that we need to go for precision agriculture. We also need to go for use of uh, digital agriculture. And also uh, there is the need for uh, new technology innovation to overhaul, overhaul our agriculture resources. So this is something that I would like to really touch upon and share with you. So in the next five to 10 years, two aspects of agriculture are going to really shift. One is the digital technologies to be used and then the new application technologies. So if I talk about digital technologies, then uh, to improve the precision of application in agriculture is, uh, really going, is really important and it is really going to be shift towards really specific uh, uh, technologies. So some examples where Bayer is working on is smart sprayers and then spot application and then variable rates prescription applications. So smart sprayers is something that uh, Bayer is studying uh, for especially for Indian conditions for our small border farmers. These are backpack sprayers which are digitally fitted to GPS, uh, not the GPS, they are sprayed in GPS and also they can be used with uh, a mobile app where the user or the farmer or any sprayer, spraying man can you know see his uh, uh, how he's working, how much area he has covered, how much water volume he has used, and a number of things where he can really you know precisely apply his uh, uh, his product, uh, uh, reducing the overall impact. So this will result in decreased volumes uh, of uh, the absolute uh, like. Sorry? Excuse me, Dr. Katoj, if you could uh, continue your presentation because there's a little uh, shortage of time. We have a few more speakers here. So if you could. Okay, okay. Sure, sure, madam. So sure. just two minutes more. So in new application technologies, uh, uh, as I told you, we are working on UV, UVs, drones, uh, on the vehicles where the application will be just 8 to 20 liters of water per hectare. That is equal to uh, what kind of water we use for uh, you know daily bathing. So Bayer has been working on it and it will definitely improve the sustainability solution. So for the ULV technology, uh, ULV technology as we know will have uh, it's uh, very uh, will have big benefits. Uh, there will be increased bioavailability of active ingredients. It will minimize off target losses for like drift and there will be decrease in the use of water, just eight to twenty liters of water and there will be lower application rates of the crop and products. So Bayer is working constantly to innovate its products and its technology to fit this uh, uh, ULB spraying system. This is an example at where you can see that Bayer has developed this high spreading SC formulation as compared to standard SC which it is, has more spreading and more stickiness to it. So with this uh, I conclude and uh, uh, just to uh, echo Dr. Chakravati's word which he mentioned yesterday that pesticides uh, are an indispensable tool to achieve the desired production levels. So uh, always, Bayer is always looking towards providing innovation with the sustainable uh, solutions to the market. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. Big question. Thank you, Dr. Kato. Uh, there is one question Dr. Gautam yeah. would uh, like to ask you. Yes, sure. Uh, Dr. Kato, thank you for uh, excellent presentation. Uh, I want to ask one thing, actually, uh, we have just uh, ventured in this area of uh, use of IoT and AI in uh, uh, particularly plant health management and uh, we are in process of, uh, uh, we have formulated a project with uh, NIT and uh, IIT Rudki and uh, uh, as uh, uh, you have told about uh, that use of drone then uh, uh, we, we would uh, like it that if you, uh, you can, uh, the buyer can collaborate with us because uh, you know that uh, in Apple, lot of uh, that uh, indiscriminate use of pesticides is uh, 
uh, happening in apple and uh, tobacco so if we uh, find something so then uh, we can start with uh, if uh, uh, i can put a request uh, because our industry is in the process to get a license of use of drones that that we are in advanced stage so that if uh, they are can uh, help us so then uh, uh, i can put a request that uh, if such type of mou we are able to do yeah yeah sure sir uh, thank you for that suggestion definitely this can be something that uh, we can look upon however uh, this technology is currently in a nascent stage and we are still developing it but definitely your point will take them and i will definitely discuss it with our uh, people, uh, colleagues so thank you thank you for that thank you dr kajoj if there are any questions uh, you're welcome to ask I think there are no questions. I request Dr. Gautam to please present a memento to Dr. Katoj for his nice presentation. Okay, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. So moving ahead, I request Dr. Dhuman from Dhanuka Agritech to present his work, please. Dr. Dhuman or Ankur Tiagi. From Dhanuka Agri Tech Limited. Uh, I think Dr. Tomar or Dr. Tiagi are not there. So we move ahead. I request Dr. Vijay Thakur from BASF to present his work, please. Dr. Vijay Thakur. Unmute yourself, Dr. Vijay. So good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Can you hear us? Yes, yes, yes. So can you present your video? Yeah. In front of everyone. So uh, thanks for giving this opportunity. First of all, I would like to thank uh, Himalayan Agricultural uh, Society uh, as well as uh, the organizers, uh, Dr. H.R. Gautam, uh, Dr. Narendra Bharat, uh, Dr. Rupesh Gupta, and uh, everyone involved in this. So uh, I will not take much of the time. I will just uh, share uh, my PPT. Uh, Just confirm if uh, I am visible on my side. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, has, it has just now come. Farming the okay. biggest job on earth. Yes, so uh, I think I'll talk it in presentation mode. Yes, so I will quickly uh, take you through uh, the BSF presentation. I think uh, uh, if you see uh, the slide, it shows that farming is the biggest uh, job on earth, and I agree completely with it because uh, all the scientists uh, and the, even the other people involved in this profession uh, where farming is made a little better, I think uh, that is the biggest job because even in COVID time, if you see, uh, I think farming is the one which is uh, seen as the biggest profession because uh, apart from other things, uh, I think the whole humanity is only looking after the daily food or something and they have completely left almost everything. And so a great lesson from uh, the current times. So, if I take you through a uh, little bit of introduction about BSF, I think BSF uh, is the uh, like it is headquartered in Ludwigshafen, Germany, and it has the uh, largest uh, integrated chemical complex, uh, about 39,000 employees, uh, then maybe 2,000 buildings on the site itself, 200 production facilities there, and kind of 230 kilometer of a rail network, plus uh, close to 3,000 kilometers of pipelines and then 106 kilometers of streets within that commercial complex. So globally, if you see, I think uh, BSF uh, has done a, a turnover of around 62.7 billion euro uh, since 2020. Employee front, I think we have more than one lakh uh, globally. So that list has not been updated, but it could be close to 1.3 lakhs. Uh, 355 production uh, sites we have across the globe and around 90,000 customers from various sectors are there for BSF. 
Uh, if you see in India, I think BSM has completed around 75 years of incorporation, uh, and uh, uh, we have a 12 production sites in India. Also, two R&D facilities uh, as a part of global technology platform. Uh, again, in India, as a BSM group, we have a turnover of around 1.4 billion um, euro and employs close to 3,000. Uh, if we come to like where BSM is present, I think uh, we should ask this question that uh, literally it is everywhere. So you name anything, we are actually an invisible partner uh, in most of the places and a very visible one in uh, many of the front. So you can show, uh, you can just see the pictures, in the packaging field, nutrition, construction, agriculture, plastics, rubber, home care, automotive, lot of divisions and uh, I think the uh, minute, minute parts, uh, we are there. And so, as a brand, you see something else, uh, but uh, if you see the chips and other, maybe uh, the ingredients in that part, so that is the invisible partner, which is BSL. So again, uh, if we talk about the agri-input, uh, the value chain, uh, almost, uh, we are trying to be present in everywhere, be the seeds, fertilizer, crop production, agri-machinery, food processing, or uh, even commodity trading or financing part. Again, as uh, my friend Dr. Dupat Patoj also emphasized, our company is also banking upon innovation and uh, you will see a lot of innovative products from BSF uh, uh, here and then. So that is our core philosophy. So innovation being a major growth driver uh, for BSF in agriculture, I think uh, if you see the expenditure that shows the story. R&D expen expenditure in 2017 was close to 2 billion euro and uh, if you see the total turnover, I think it is almost contributing like 40% of the um, this r and expenditure into the total uh, kind of turnover. And we have a strong and balanced r and pipeline in crop production as well as seeds. If you see the, uh, maybe the investment across years, uh, every year the investment has increased from around 325 million euro to around close to 500 million euro. And it is like uh, seen as an initiative that every year at least the R&D front, the BSF has to spend and bring those innovations which are so much required in the agricultural space. Uh, if you see this uh, picture, I think this is one of the new addition to India's, uh, 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 I would say, uh, maybe innovation drive. So this is, we call it the Innovation Campus for Asia Pacific. This is uh, primarily uh, for insecticides, but other AIs also we are trying to develop. And uh, this is in Mumbai. And this has just started in 2017, so that shows the focus uh, also that for BSF, I think uh, India is a strategic country and it will be continuing uh, the same kind of drive for the innovative products in the future as well. So quickly, uh, not wasting time, I'm coming uh, to the fungicide innovation from BSF, if you can have a look. Uh, these are some of the fungicides, Zellora, Bigger C treatment, uh, then Selum, of course, very much known. I will uh, also touch it in the other portfolio. Then there is Zampo or in uh, potato. Atobag is a very, very known brand, particularly in the late life segments of uh, potato as well as grapes. Sentima is a very uh, known brand in rice. Cabrio again, very much uh, old, uh, I would say, war house in Apple uh, around 11 years. Pyrato Stone Mini and Opera again in soybean as well as the field crops. Bags are again, um, we have launched three years before uh, in cotton as well as other field crops. Siskiwa is a secret good product uh, in basically donut. Sarkadis plus again, I will touch it through because it's uh, coming in upper portfolio. Uh, again, the quality will be scared. Narimon again, a very, very established product in Apple uh, and Akiso as well as uh, also a quality will specialist again in Apple. So quickly in the uh, final stages, I will just, because I will ask uh, to have some focus on the Apple portfolio, because looking at the uh, university guidelines and other things, I think Apple is a crop where uh, uh, we need to have that uh, focus. So if we ask about Apple portfolio for BSF, first product is Sarkadis Plus. And I think this is one product which is like in two years, it has grown like anything and uh, very high acceptance, uh, contains a premium. Uh, which is our uh, proprietary brand, uh, which is basically Fusa Pyroxide, uh, which is a SDHI as well as uh, it is a combination of Bifenconazole, which is again a well established and safe by And it's a broad spectrum, uh, mainly we are uh, positioning it uh, at a better form against scab and pottery And uh, as far as the packs are concerned, I think we uh, 
have a 320 ml pack and uh, the dose is like 40 ml per kilowatt. Then if you see uh, the second product which comes in our portfolio is very known, uh, very well known in the Apple sector. Uh, I think we are recommending it in the stage. Uh, we have a uh, packing of 340 ATM 250 and the dose is 25 ml per 100 liter water. It is again a combination of uh, Xenium and also the F500, the pyrethros problem, uh, which is considered to be the number one plant health fungicide because in addition to the fungicide properties, it also gives some uh, uh, excellence we call it, like uh, the other benefits, for example, the greenery and the color and other things. So this is again, I think it does not know, uh, like require much of the introduction, very, very established product in Apple, both in the Himachal as well as in Kashmir. So if you talk about the third product, I think at one stage, uh, we are actually recommending Capriotop, that is Pyrectoscopy, uh, again a very established one for the last 11 years, it is there and uh, in the available packs of 300, 600 and 3 kg and the dose uh, is like uh, 1 ml per uh, 100 liter of uh, 1 ml per 1 liter of water and it's a very trusted brand uh, uh, mainly we are positioning against uh, Altermedia as well as uh, Master. Finally, there is one more uh, product in the Apple uh, portfolio. Uh, this is a combination of phosphate, which is the world's first SDHI chemistry, and F500 again the pyrethros of it. Uh, this is a leading uh, broad spectrum fungicide, and it also enhances the plant as well as the fruit health. We have positioned it as a pre harvest uh, that is like uh, 25 to 30 days before the harvest. And this is one product uh, in HP, I think uh, there is a like uh, uh, there and then people are complaining about the color development and other things. This is one product which will uh, give you that nice full finish as well as the, it helps in the color development as well as uh, in addition to the other fungicidal properties. Uh, dose is uh, 40 to 60 gram per 100 liter and the available pack is 240 grams. So this is all about the Apple portfolio and I think uh, with that I will conclude my presentations. So I am open for questions in that. Thank you Dr. Vijay Chakur. That was indeed a very insightful presentation. We have a question from Dr. Narendra Maharaj. Yeah. No, I think there was some confusion. Agar kisi ka koi question hai, koi Bhagwan ke saan jude hai, to please question pool sakte hai. I don't think there is any question. Dr. Vijay Thakur, thank you so much for your nice presentation. I request Professor and Head Dr. Gautam to please felicitate Dr. Vijay Thakur with a memento. Thanks a lot. Thanks very much, sir. With that, we uh, finish with the last session. Uh, and uh, if there is anybody else who want to present, then uh, kindly let us know. So this was the last session. And we shall be meeting again for the plenary session at 2.15. I request you all to please join again at 2.15. The Honorable Vice-Chancellor will be here to present the awards and uh, for the plenary session. So we meet again at 2.15. Thank you.